All right, guys, we're down here in the panel. And one of the things we've done is we've talked about the types of 3M disc. And what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of the usage for these. Um, and again, you heard me say a roll lock. These simply snap onto a tool like this. And the reason they're called a roll lock is they just spin into the face of it. They're easy to put on and off and change around. So what we've got here is this is the panel that we were prepping. So what we're gonna do on this particular panel, because it's very solid, there was some rust pitting in here, um, but as opposed to swapping out that panel, we're going to use a panel bond. There are different applications, different levels of restoration. And so obviously on this one, um, for the customer and for what we're doing, we have duplicated the panel. Um, we've test fitted everything, made sure we're good to go. So the way that we've prepped this panel for panel bonding is we've cut out our heavy rust or damaged areas. We've ground back, if you can see the grain and cut, that is from a roll lock disc. Your polish, which I left some here, and I'll finish prepping this, is this is just polished with the, the, uh, the Scotch-Brite disc, and this is with the uh, roll lock that has the heavier cut. And I don't know if you can see the, that in there as I turn the camera a little bit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is now that I've got this area kind of, I'm gonna finish my prep, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, get this other panel that I made my cover panel. I'll prep the inside of it and get it ready. And then we'll apply panel bond. So what we're gonna use is Dave, we're gonna use a product called uh, 08115. It's just panel bonding adhesive. Um, it's a 3M. <clears throat> Pretty simple stuff. Comes in a gun like this. Uh, these cartridges, you change the tips out on them. They're easy to swap in and out. They drop right in. Boom, put it in there like that. Uh, you've got some adjustment. The advantage with the gun system is that when I let off the trigger, um, it, it relieves the pressure and doesn't keep oozing out of the tube, which really cuts back on waste, which is a nice addition that 3M's uh, made some improvements this year on their system. So I'll get this panel prepped up, we'll get it in place, and then we'll pick up from there and show you how it looks afterwards once we bonded this in. A couple things that, uh, advice I use when we're panel bonding is we do a couple uh, we'll do a supple self-tapping screws to hold the panel in place once we finish our last test fit. And then once we get all our bond in, we'll put those in. Um, sometimes you can clamp very easily, but in a panel like this, we're under a car, it's much easier to go ahead and add a couple self-tapping screws, and that will allow the panel to stay in place. Get back. 